morning internet, it is 9 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. In the previous video I showed you some of my favorite moments in 60,000 kilometers of motorcycle journey. But the journey wasn't all rainbows and fairies. In this video I am showing you the bike drops, the crashes, the struggles and the scary moments. And a lot of these clips I haven't shown to you before because normally I like to keep the focus in my videos on what's positive. But that doesn't mean that I am too scared to share them. So sit back and enjoy the ride. That was close. I was just kind of on automatic pilot, I guess. And suddenly, uh, <laughs> it's all that mud. Whee! That was a little bit too steep. No, it's okay. Okay. Thank you, Fazio. Really curious what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Hello. Hi. Especially in season one. I struggled with riding up or down steep hills. Because I record everything with a GoPro, the steepness both uphill and downhill is almost entirely flattened out. Not that I'm making up excuses, but I kind of am. These are all of my hill crashes. You go four kilometers. Okay, then good road. Four kilometers. Yes, hold, hold. Oof. 
<laughs> you go run? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh god. In season 2, my riding skills were a bit better and I didn't fall down so often anymore. I started riding faster on off-road tracks and that made me realize a little too late how sharp this corner was. But my weirdest crash ever happened here. I came from riding on compacted dirt and drove straight into deep, soft, fine gravel hiding in the corner. When you do that, this is what happens. But when we fall down in life, we get back up. We reflect on what went wrong and we try again. And luckily the only motorcycle related injury I got during my journey was this. I got a second degree burn on my arm <laughs> because of the exhaust and uh, it's not healing very well. Some days were harder than others and I complained a lot. I can't feel my fingers and I can't feel my toes. It is freezing. And now it looks like I'm heading straight through those mountains. There's a lot of snow over there. So I don't know how close I'll get to the snow, but it is so cold, like my hands. I have no feeling in my fingers and no more feeling in my toes. It's uh, hailing at the moment. <laughs> you see little hailstones? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm uh, struggling a little bit uh, because of the heat, I guess. And there's not a lot of traffic, but if there's traffic, the dust clouds are just horrendous. I'm all this time at I'm riding at 4,000 meters altitude and the road is it's tough it's not easy it's all washboard and uh, loose gravel loose sand big rocks see I'm out of breath it just takes a lot of energy riding this road especially at the altitude so uh, like I really noticed that but by far my hardest day in season one was this day when I was trying to cross the border into Kyrgyzstan. The lack of oxygen and intense cold due to the altitude got to me. Now it is 18 kilometers very cold to Kyrgyzstan. There's no. Yeah, but
hardest day of season 2 was also at high altitude, but this time the problem wasn't the cold, it was the rain. This is bad, this is really bad. It's very fast flowing and I cannot see anything. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna go for it. It's only gonna get worse. <laughs> Nobody's coming, so... <sighs> Maybe I'll go here. Here, 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 here. Okay. I took all the luggage off, so if I fall, I did it. I forgot to press the record button. I almost, he almost took me, I stalled in the middle, or no, I went into neutral for some reason, and I could just feel the nose slipping underneath me. Oh, I'm glad I took all the luggage off, because that also made a huge difference in the weight. Then this lady over there was watching the whole time. I asked her to help me, but she, she didn't do anything. Oh, that was scary. It was the scariest moment <laughs> on this entire trip so far. I can't believe I didn't record it, but I was... My mind was just thinking, what is better? Should I wait? Maybe it gets worse. Nobody is passing. <laughs> so I can't really expect help. But going back was also not an option because I already crossed two other river crossings where I was super scared so I was kind of trapped in between two crossings oh my goodness I can't believe I did it like that river almost took me over a cliff It was a mandatory uh, dog attack. Oh. They are evil. Oh, they look mean. Ah! They're biting me. This dog is biting me. Oh my god. I have to ride with my legs up because it's obviously okay. That was it for today. I really hope you liked all the unseen footage and me launching myself off the bike. There's a little bit more coming, so make sure you watch this video till the end. If you liked it, then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Alright, this is some protests. <laughs>